Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video presents atmospheric pressure. Atmosphere means the thick layer of air around the earth up to a several hundred kilometer. Air has weight. The total weight of the atmosphere has been estimated to be 5000 million tons. Due to this weight, the air exerts pressure. This is the image of aneroid barometer is the instrument to measure atmospheric pressure. Now vertical distribution of pressure. Like temperature, pressure also decreases according to altitude and is called vertical distribution of pressure. Average rate of about 34 millibar every 300 meters. The atmospheric pressure is 1013.25 millibar at the sea level which is reduced to just 100 millibar at a height of 17 kilometers. Now horizontal distribution of pressure. The distribution of atmospheric pressure across the latitudes is known as horizontal distribution of atmospheric pressure over the globe. Its main features is zonal character termed as pressure belt. Now atmospheric pressure belts it can be divided into equatorial low pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt both north and south hemisphere subpolar low pressure belt both north and south hemisphere and polar high pressure belt both north and south hemisphere this red line indicate equatorial low pressure belt polar high pressure belt both north and south hemisphere are thermally induced pressure belt again this red color indicate subtropical high pressure belt and subpolar low pressure belt both north and south hemisphere are dynamically induced pressure belts number one equatorial low pressure belt it extends up to 10 degree north and south of the equator it is also known as doldrum because of the extremely calm air movements low pressure prevails due to intense heating air gets warm and rises over the equatorial region and produces the equatorial low pressure belt. High water vapor contained in the air which reduces the density of the air. Reduction in density results in lowering the pressure. Earth's rotation is maximum at the equator. This result in maximum centrifugal force at the equator which pushes the air away from the earth surface and causes low pressure condition. Number 2. Subtropical High Pressure Belt It extends from near the tropics to about 35 degree north and south latitudes. High pressure prevails in this belt due to warm air of the equatorial belt gradually cools down when it goes up and turns towards the north and south due to rotation of the earth. They are completely turned on reaching the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn and start descending there. Thus, descent of cold air causes high pressure condition in this belt. Large air masses drift from the polar areas to subtropics due to Earth's rotation and causes high pressure condition in this belt. Horse latitude The descending air creates a calm conditions in this pressure belt is called horse latitude. Why it's called horse latitude? In early days, the sailing vessels with the cargo of horses found it very difficult to sail under such calm conditions. They used to throw horses in the sea to make their vessels light. Number 3. Subpolar Low Pressure Belt It extends from 45 degree north and south to the Arctic and Antarctic circles. Low pressure prevails due to axial rotation of the earth is blow away from the poles and should cause low pressure at the poles. But the poles are very cold and the effect of axial rotation in displacing air is felt near the Arctic and Antarctic circles and low pressure condition in this belt. Warm ocean currents from the tropical and subtropical areas carry lot of heat to the subpolar areas and create high temperature and low pressure condition in this belt. Number 4. Polar High Pressure Belt It extends from 80 degree north and south latitudes. High pressure prevail in this belt due to 
This high pressure belt is caused by extremely low temperature at the poles, which remain below freezing point during the summer season. The air remains cold and dense and result in high pressure condition in this belt. So friends, if you like my video, then don't forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. Thanks for watching my video.